Hello, this is Sheshachalam from Astrogate Mysore. Today, let us understand Brahma Yoga. So, here the planets involved are Jupiter, Venus, Mercury, all Saumya Grahas. Saumya means soft planets, and all planets which all these three planets, you know, they have a craving for education, qualification, high standard of uh, living. They love to study. They love to acquire a lot of knowledge. So, they are, you know, hungry for knowledge. The, all these three, Jupiter, Mercury and Venus. So, let us go through this yoga and see how it is formed. I have just given a classic example here. Let us go through it. The two most important you know, the criteria for this yoga to form are Jupiter and Venus. They both have to be in quadrants. Quadrants are 1st, 4th, 7th and 10th from the given planet. So, from Jupiter, a quadrant. That is, either the ninth Lord should be in the quadrant from Jupiter. So, let me first tell the whole sentence. Jupiter and Venus in quadrant from the ninth Lord and the eleventh Lord respectively. Respectively means ninth Lord for Jupiter and eleventh Lord for Venus. And second part is that Mercury individually, Mercury has to be in quadrant from the Lagna Lord, that is the Ascendant Lord or the tenth Lord. So, let us take this particular example. I have taken Capricorn Ascendant. Here the Ascendant Lord is Saturn. The 10th Lord is Venus. The 9th Lord is Mercury. The 11th Lord, these are the Lords which are required. So, the 9th Lord, 11th Lord, Lagna Ascendant Lord and 10th Lord. So, the 11th Lord is Mars. So, just to understand, the placement is that, let us say, we have Jupiter in the 3rd house, Mars in the 4th house. So, this is both Rashi Kundli and Bhav Kundli chart. So, please try to understand, if I am writing Rashi Kundali, some people tell that it is in the Rashi, it is not in the Bhava chart. So, uh, let us not get confused here. If I am telling placements, if I am telling Jupiter is in the third house, then it is the Bhava chart. And if I am telling the ninth Lord, then the midpoint of the ninth uh, house should fall. If it is falling in uh, Kanya Rashi, that is uh, in Virgo, then the ninth Lord becomes Mercury. So that is how we need to see the Rashi Kundali and also the Bhava Kundali respectively. So here, Jupiter is aspected by the ninth Lord. There is a direct aspect and it is a Kendra. Kendra, that is, it is a quadrant because it is the seventh house. Mars is the eleventh Lord and Venus has to be aspected or to be posited in a Kendra from the eleventh Lord. So, here not only being posited in the Kendra, there is a direct aspect of Mars over Venus. So, Venus and Mars are in mutual Kendra, quadrants. Jupiter and Mercury are in mutual quadrants. And the Lagna Lord, that is Saturn, is placed along with Mercury. It's placed along with Mercury because that is what it was one more condition. Here the 10th Lord is not placed along with Mercury. It is not placed along with Mercury or it is not in any quadrant because from Mercury the quadrants are 1, 4, 7, 10. So, here the Ascendant Lord Saturn is placed along with Mercury. So, this constitutes to a beautiful Brahma Yoga, one of the strongest Yogas for high class living, very high class, they think very high and they help the poor. So, these people are philanthropists, they are very, you know, they are very good in nature, in giving, so charitable in nature. 
So these people acquire a lot of property and also it's not that they acquire it by amassing it. They get it because of their hard work and they are very well known socially. Extremely people who are very famous in their particular locality, they do a lot of good to the society and if I am leaving out anything. So they have a lot of luxury, comfort and excellent living lifestyle and uh, they are favored uh, by the uh, kingly uh, positions like nowadays the kingly positions are all those people who are having power so people with power also will favor these people so it is a very strong yoga to have in a chart which will actually ward away ward off what we call as it will wipe off or eliminate bad yogas in a chart this is very important in this particular chart. So these people are also dhirgayu. Dhirgayu means they have very good longevity. So you can understand that Jupiter which gives finance has to be blessed by the ninth lord Bhagyasthana, the lord of fortune, the lord of the house of fortune, that is the ninth lord, is aspecting Jupiter which is the lord of wisdom and also the lord of wealth, the karaka for wealth, one thing. Second thing, the lord of profit, that is the 11th lord, is aspecting Venus. Venus is the lord or karaka or signifier for, signifier for luxury. So, when the lord of profit is aspecting the lord of luxury, obviously the person will have a lot of facilities, you know, he will be in very good uh, class. So, this is a very, very strong Raja Yoga, which is known as Brahma Yoga. So, thank you very much for today's class.